Hello, you awesome video game lovers. My name is Imaginer, and today marks my three years on YouTube. So, celebrations, uh, confetti <laughs> everywhere. It's been a weird ride, just to say the least. And I had no idea what I would do for my three years, so I decided to react to some of my older videos. Probably going to be more cringy than anything else because. Frankly, I don't look back on my older videos due to the content that I created. But, besides that, I'm going to be reacting to some of my older content, starting off with my first video. Now, some of you may have thought that Slender was my first video, because that was the first video on my Imagine vs. Gaming channel. However, that is not the case. This is my first video. And... Is a downright horrible one and a cringy one to say the least. <sighs> I'll just let you guys see it. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I make a bunch of videos about Minecraft that are funny, will make you pee your pants, and etc. I hope you enjoy all of my videos and I hope you enjoy every I single moment of them. The thing. I'm making it healthy entertainment so that way kids can watch it, parents can watch it, it's family friendly. I hope you enjoy all of the videos I do. God bless you, and have an amazing day. And that used to be the end of all of my videos, was, uh, that specifically was, God bless you, and have an amazing day. Now, I changed that for my main channel now, because I didn't want any sort of problems to arise from it, or anything like that, because... I know that some people may get a little sensitive with that sort of stuff. I don't know why. Um, but honestly, it was only on some of my Minecraft videos that actually showed um, specifically that. And I know I'm still trying to get back into the whole, uh, the whole routine of recording again. And that's mostly because I've been trying to deal with work and... Uh, everything else around that. I don't know. It's basically, I'm just winging this at this point, so let's do it! Hello guys, and welcome to my first episode of Minecraft. My name is Imaginer, and today I forgot I how low the audio was. Server. Gonna play some Claycraft with Steel Silverlight and Black Belt oh. Panda. Both YouTubers, and might as well be in my comfortable environment here. I can't believe I went and started like that. Mm. It's still up there, so if you guys ever want to just look up Imaginer97 and you'll find this video, but I only had like maybe seven subscribers at the time. There is no reason why I should have been like, yeah, so these guys are YouTubers and I'm a YouTuber, so woohoo and everything like that. Mmm. And I just wanted to show like a little bit of my Minecraft series. Um, most of the videos I did move over to my main channel, like my uh, adventures with CJMA14, his brother. And I'm hopefully going to be getting back to that if, of course, my brother were to get a better computer because his is crap. So, let's start out by playing a game. Okay, now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Imaginer vs. Gaming, so but young. many of you know me on this channel as Imaginer97. I am here to tell you guys why I am no longer making videos yeah. on this channel, and this oh, will I, be the final video I on I this channel. Have a, the reason well, for that being that is that I... But the other one that I had was from my girlfriend, and I accidentally lost the medallion attached to it, which really made me sad. I wish I could have found it, but, uh, no. Any case, that's just a little bit of an insight on my personal life. I already am working on my other channel more than this one, that's and true. it's become problematic for me to deal with two channels at once. And it was, so because I, I tried to do both Minecraft content and 
uh, my own gaming content and I started to drift away from Minecraft a lot more. Because when I started off YouTube, I was dead set on doing Minecraft stuff like Minecraft horror maps and adventure maps. And there's still an adventure map out there, uh, well, that I did called Gloria. Uh, I never completed it. I might complete it again on my main channel. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. It was just one of those games that, uh, and back then I did not have a face cam. In fact, I didn't get a face cam until <sighs> To the Moon, the Sigcorp holiday special. And the fact that I remember that is amazing. But, yeah. I'm going to be moving the Minecraft videos over to my other channel. Well, so that way you guys well, can well, see it, uh, all those videos through there. Uh, and if I need to, I may delete this I'm channel. But this until bad, then, I'm going to leave it up monotone? right now. Um, Probably. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this one. And as for Imagine97... This is goodbye for good. But for those for Imagine vs. Gaming, we're still going strong with 60 subscribers. Let's keep it up, everyone. Oh, God. 60 subscribers. And there's Gloria right there. Um, <laughs> if you ever see the Piggy No episode, you will realize how funny it was. But yeah, that was my Imagine 97 channel. Obviously, I no longer... Um, mess with that anymore. Oh god. The old Windows Movie Maker intro that I made for this. Hello audience, and welcome to my... Okay, before we start, I know the audio is crap, and it will say that the audio sucks. That is because I used a tiny little stick microphone that had a very, very small little speaker that was basically busted. And I tried to use that as my main microphone for a while until I got a headset, which that headset then got replaced with another headset and etc. until I got this one. So yeah, that's the long and the short of that. Um, back to my actual first video. Today's first video. Is it's creepy. We'll be playing SpongeBob. <laughs> Yeah, it's sad because the video is hard to hear due to all of the music, all of the sound effects in the background. Well, usually you'd be able to sprint using the shift key, but apparently I was dumb back then, or the game doesn't use the shift key. I don't remember, I haven't played Slender in a good long while, I think, three years. Crap. <laughs> I just realized they are my old ways real fast. I might play Slender again, I don't know. It's up to you guys, to be honest, because... And that's the thing for me, I used to say, like, oh, I hate this, I hate this, when in reality, I have fun playing these games, I just hate getting scared. And crickets are scared. God, Playing that drum. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, I have someone with a bass say. drum behind me. Just. I don't like this game at all. Oh boy. Was that my breathing, or was that some sort of background breathing? Yeah, and here's the other thing. I haven't really played many horror games prior to Slender. Because, for me, I never really got into Steam until like 2014, and this is. Well, very late I'm gonna turn the uh, I'm gonna see 2014, because I've just oh. been messing around with games I found online yeah, rather than amazing. Steam. Yeah, you're screwed, buddy. Uh, I've never been able to get past says, three pages, or maybe I have, but I think it's always been three pages that screwed me over. Because actually, uh, I think this is where the jump scare happens.
I hate you, Slenderman. I hate you. And the reason I had to say I hate you, Slenderman, was because my mom in the back room was wondering, what the heck's going on down there? Like, she was thinking that I was, like, dying or something like that. I don't know. I I don't think I really developed my personality much until I started to actually get further into YouTube, and I think Power 101 was actually the bigger series for that, which I'll show you guys next. Hello everyone, and welcome to my first episode of Pirate 101. Oh, Today, God. we are going to be starting a new file with the new spring update. Let's begin. Oh my. Somewhere. I have a lot more emotion <laughs> in that. I had a lot more because I knew how the game was going to play in the beginning. So I knew how I was going to plan everything out. Which I've never been able to do ever since. Uh, I mean, maybe I could do a Power 101 continuously. Um, but I don't know. There are certain things with Power 101 I remember, some things I don't. And it makes it fun to go back and it's like, oh, I remember that. Or, I don't know. It's a weird nostalgia feeling because I remember doing these videos. I remember I used a PS3 or a PS4 headset and it only had it had like one little part and then one earphone and then the microphone so i was like okay this isn't really efficient because i want to hear out of both ears and that's why the audio here is different than the videos afterwards is because i only used it once and then returned it back to walmart the spiral <laughs> that's one of these prisoners uh... ooh a monkey <laughs> is this the prisoner we're looking for? Oh, a monkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hard to say. You there. <laughs> oh, a monkey. I sound like Shrek. You're standing on the blind side. Are you a boy or a girl? Um, I am a boy. Last time I checked. Even though I sound a little bit like a girl, What's but you know, that's because puberty um, didn't hit me well yet. Hmm. Or my voice really didn't deepen. Decisions, decisions, and making a name. Let's oh go with... See, I never liked having these titles in front of it, so I just completely skipped it and went with Sebastian Holystone, hopefully if it shows up, maybe? I don't know. Sebastian Holystone, which my character is Austin Holystone, based on my own name, and Holystone I just found to be a cool name, and it didn't have my last name, so I was like, whatever. <sighs> Let's just see how... The dogs of Marleybone were ye. Your foster father was a redcoat. Oh, that is true. <laughs> so how did so... you get locked in this brig? What crime did the Armada arrest you for? Oh, uh, let's go, Swashbuckler. So he assaulted an Armada officer while defending your best friend's honor. That sounds like me. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh yeah. well, I got screwed there. <laughs> what I wish I had that better personality now. But it's really hard for me to get back to that because before I had no problem expressing myself and as I continue to create content, I've become a lot less ambitious and forward with my voice. Which I need to get back to doing because honestly I want to do a lot more content with a lot more of a pep, a emotion behind it. And that I'm not going to get just by going, hey guys, welcome to another video. And I don't really sound like that. I don't really know why there have been a little things towards me being like, oh yeah, he's monotone. Maybe a little bit, but not by much. At least not anymore. Trust me, it gets worse. Uh, but yeah, that's where my channel basically started to pick up is with Part 101. Because once that video started hitting 100 200 start hitting a thousand I'm like okay I can actually start doing this now I have to create content and I started to try to post more often um, even when there were some days when I didn't have energy which is probably my uh, biggest uh, problem with that uh, all right we're gonna go on to the next video Oh, and the aspect ratio was off in the video and I couldn't fix that due to everything else and it was so dumb. Uh, and then I made this little intro for myself by using Windows Movie Maker, if that's not obvious. 
the background's a loop and I just Come and get it. And yeah, there's my intro song, which I don't think I use anymore. Hello everybody. Yeah, and I started off using face cam and I covered up my eyes and I still don't know why I did that. Because to be honest, I could have probably been a lot better just not having the glasses on. But I wanted to be a little bit I don't know crazy or a little bit secretive there's the word god i can't speak today and welcome to the sig corp holiday special my name's imaginer and today merry christmas to you maybe a little late depending on when i upload this video merry christmas yeah and that's just what i wanted to show i really wish that i did not use the sunglasses. That's something I regret, regret doing. Wow. Ooh, can't speak. Because I felt a lot more of a connection with you guys by having my eyes, you know, not covered by something. But I was so shy back then with my face. And even at a camera, even at a camera, I was so scared of just not having, uh, not having the personality that I wanted to on oh, my content is that making sense am I making sense probably not I'm rambling aren't I but basically I feel a lot more like I can connect with you guys now that I don't have anything covering my face I feel like I can express myself a little more without feeling like I have to cover myself up and okay then they like growing tomatoes but and my voice did start to get a little bit more monotone and that's just how I've been my entire life is monotone so now if you thought that all of my content that I've ever done was just on videos or on video games there is more to that I've been in three short films with my friend Abby who owns a uh, creative mastermind productions and adventures with Abby there was a Divergent short film that I was in, and though it wasn't for long, I remember this so much because I remember having to be in a suit, I had to get myself looking like uh, from uh, Dawnless, and yeah, there's the thing. Ah, oh, man, I remember because I remember having to do that scene a couple times to make sure that I got it right. And I'm gonna turn down the music just cause that's all it is, is music. But, ah! Uh, and there's, uh, Sniper Rose, for those who, uh, wanna know. I've known these people for so long, and Abby is now married, of all things. And everything has changed for me, and this is just, like, one of the last things we did as a group of people before the end of high school. Uh, and I know I had to help Shania before when she was on the, well, her name Shania, might as well just point that out, uh, but I had to help her balance on the tracks before because of some of the scenes we wanted to do, and obviously we've had, um, yeah. And though it's not much, trust me, there are a lot of funnier ones, but this one's just a divergent short film, and Honestly, I freaking love making these sort of videos, and I'm sad that I'm not able to do it because I don't have the equipment, I don't have any idea what I would make, but I love making these videos. And there's even two more, so hang on a second there. And again, most of these were asylum films, and this one was for Christmas. And me smoking a freaking candy cane because I was trying to be old timey and everything. And they're playing as elves. And I remember this so well because. Oh man. We had to go into the town square basically. And we did it. Which is also weird. And then just see. <laughs> freaking face. Oh man, I miss these. Yes, yeah, it's a silent film. And 
this was... Oh, man. I remember these so well. I remember that there was a scene where we had to... Well, it'll probably show up. But, uh, hang on. Let me see if I can fast forward a little bit. Yeah, we get tied up with Christmas lights. And we weren't allowed to get out of them. We were just supposed to hop around with them. So we literally hopped across an entire street attached with Christmas lights. And this part I screwed up, and I know I did, but they didn't want to go back and try to refix it or anything. So basically I looked at the camera, which is one thing that I should not have done. But I didn't know what they wanted me to do. Yeah, and I started doing the weird dances as just a, you know, added bonus to the craziness. It was so weird, and I don't own those suspenders, those were Abby's. But, oh man. Jeez. I remember these videos so well. It's so crazy because I remember the days when I did them, the people I was with, what basically I had to do in these videos, and my god, I miss it. I mean, Abby's moved out from the town where I live, so we've not been able to do content there, and she's married, so obviously she's a married woman, she's got her own life now, and it just, oh, I miss making these videos, God, I wish I could, but the only thing I have is this little dainty webcam, I don't have one that I can carry around, she did, it broke, we no longer can do videos, especially because she doesn't have the camera anymore. Oh, man. And there's one more because, honestly, I just want to show the nostalgia that I'm feeling currently. And this may be interesting to some people. Maybe not, but who knows. Oh, the mime versus Abraham Lincoln. And guess who had to play as Abraham Lincoln? That's right, I had to play as good old Honest Abe in this. I don't know why she had to have it. Yeah. <laughs> I had to wear makeup too, which was the weirdest thing. I've had to wear makeup before because there was a video that I <laughs> that I was in a long while back, which was a Legend of Zelda movie, which uh, is not currently in my possession. I, well, because it's on a hard drive, my dad has my hard drive. But I have worn makeup before. I've worn eyeliner before. <laughs> so. It's so weird because I was like, okay, what do I have to do? They had to go and put it on my eyeliner, well, basically eyeliner around my eyes. And it was just so weird. And also getting makeup on my face too, but I had to get my eyebrows to be all, like, darkened. So it would be in a black and white film. And <laughs> the fact that I did, like, a stiff-legged run... <laughs> uh. Oh man, I missed doing these. And apparently Abraham Lincoln can disappear. This is the funny look. <laughs> But, uh, man. And then I end up dying because apparently I get suffocated in an invisible box. Man. I remember all these. Man, it's... So freaking weird. Oh no, wait, there's one more video that I want to show. There's one more video. And that's because... I was trying to record at college. I was trying to record at college. And it just so happened that, and I don't know if it'll show up unless I do this because my face cam. Uh, 
which probably will mess up the other video that I was watching due to, uh, well, I'll leave links to the videos I see in the description below, so don't worry, but, uh, this part, I was getting ready to record, my creepy roommate comes up behind me, and just, and here's the thing, in the beginning, as is, he comes in with the Slim Jim, puts it up to my face. Now, I don't realize that until later when it's like... Uh, wait. Uh, I think it might be around here. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Yeah, apparently put it in your mouth, which is like the weirdest thing you could ever say to anybody. Alright, sorry if I... Yeah, and I was just so annoyed during that time because I had to pause my video. And I was like, why did you do that? And he was like, because it's funny. And I'm like, I'm trying to record here. But anyways, guys, that was me reacting to some of my older content. And while I still do need some improving with some of my uh, newer content, and I really hate that this is mirrored because it's really hard to adjust my hair, which is a mess today and needs cut, but... Thank you guys all so much for three years on YouTube. I wouldn't be where I am without you guys, and I just, it makes me feel so weird for me to be having content that's basically three years old. Uh, I remember doing all these videos, and it's weird because you would think, oh, maybe you forgot one or two or how it felt. No, I remember, uh, recording these videos and just maybe I was sad one day and didn't really have enough personality behind it but ah uh, I love looking back at some of these videos not all of them because frankly the slender video needed much improvement um, but it was my first video so it is what it is but I absolutely love the content that I make now and that may seem a little egotistical for me to say but I love where I've love where I've gone I guess the way of saying it. I've gone from making pretty poor content to now where I'm still not making the best content in my opinion but I do try my best and that's all anyone could ever ask for but yeah and Bob Ross is right here painting the stars with Bob Ross but in any case, thank you all so much for watching. Let's head on to another year of YouTube, and hopefully I can improve more, and hopefully you guys can still enjoy my content. Thank you all once again so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.